Hi guys and welcome back. Today what we're going to be doing is learning how to draw lines in AutoCAD. Let's get to it. Before that though, make sure you also like and subscribe. Alright, so um, AutoCAD uses the Cartesian coordinate system to draw lines and there's several different methods in which we can utilize to draw lines in AutoCAD. Which you might think it's pretty simple, but honestly there's a lot to it. So Let's get to it and uh, I'll kind of go over a few different methods with you guys. So first things first, where is the line command? So the line command is located up here on the top left hand corner of the screen right here. Um, now other people may know you can just type in L enter in the command line and that gets you to the line command too. So what is really the best way to get to it? It's really up to you. There's several different ways to get to the line command and honestly just pick one, get used to it and roll with it. So first things first, when we draw the line, the first thing that pops up is, hey, where do you want to specify the first point from? So we can use the Cartesian coordinate system and I can say, well, I want to start from zero comma zero, meaning I want to start right from the lowest corner of my drawing right here. All right. So just like in geometry, we have several different quadrants. Um, so this here, we're moving in both a positive X and a positive Y direction. So if I wanted to go five up and five across, meaning I'm basically making a 45 degree angle, I can do five comma five. And if you notice here, it's gonna draw it as such. Now, let's say I don't wanna do that. Let's say instead I wanna draw a line and I wanna start at zero, zero, but I wanna make that line something different. Instead, I want to go, I wanna go five at 45 degrees. Now, what I'm doing here is when these pop up like that, so I'm going line, I'm setting zero comma zero. I'm typing five for my distance tab, and then I'm typing 45 tab, and that sets both angles. So this allows me to draw using this typical method, sorry. Um, now, if you notice, there's a few things going on here. The one thing that you should be noting the most is it's using dynamic input right now. So you can kind of see all these little smart pieces appearing next to my lines. If you're not getting those, there's a little button right down here called dynamic mode, die mode right there. Just give that a click make sure it's blue. If it's blue, it's on. And that'll allow you to kind of easily navigate this way. So this way you can set all of your angles. Now, it's also good to note that AutoCAD works in a counterclockwise motion. And that's because of the way the angles work. So when you're drawing a line, the line is going you know, up this way, 45. If I go down this way, technically it's going negative 45. So when you're doing anything, think about everything counterclockwise, as this is the motion in which AutoCAD thinks. And that's really because, remember, you have positive X and Y over here, and then you have negative X and positive Y over here, and it kind of keeps going like this. You can kind of see how it rounds about. It is counterclockwise. So drawing lines using distances is easy. So if we just want to draw a quick five by five box, we can do a five tab zero, enter, and then we can go five tab 90, enter. Now, if you notice it went down because that's the direction I was pointed, five tab zero, or actually 180, enter. And then I can just type in C because it was all one fluid motion. I never exited and never got out of it. And then it'll allow me to close the line. So again, a few things go on there. Now let's turn all this junk off. Um, this is honestly the way I would typically work with none of it on. So when I'm drawing a line, if you look, there's nothing there now, right? So if we wanted to draw the old school way, we would go to a line, we type in our points, zero comma zero, enter, there we are. And then I would do shift at five, shift that zero. And just knowing my angles, I can actually navigate my way around this object. Now, again, just you're just watching the command line here. I'm not going to really teach you this way, as this is really the old way of doing it. But you can see there's multiple different ways to draw a line, even if dynamic input's not on. Now, another way to draw a line is just if you want to draw a five by five square. I call this mo I call this lines by direction, really. So what I do is I turn ortho mode on here. That's this blue button right here, or you can hit F8 on your keyboard and I draw a line like this. So I click here, I put myself in line. Now this will only allow me to lock in at 0, 90, 180, and 270. So this way I just drag myself in the direction I wanna go. Again, I'm not paying attention to what anything, I'm just gonna type in five enter, and five enter, I'm just moving myself in that direction, five enter. 
and honestly you can create a simple 5x5 box that way but wait there's more so let's say and for instance you want to draw 45 degree angles well then you're going to utilize what we call polar tracking so you have ortho right here we're going to scoot on over to polar and we're going to set it to 45 here right there so you can all right 45 perfect make sure it's blue so now when i draw a line i'm going to click and again here's zero here's 45. so i'm going to put myself on that 45 stretch myself out and i'm just gonna again it doesn't matter that it says 10. i'm gonna type in five enter and it's automatically gonna make it five that is the beauty part about that command and you can make a quick one on an angle. Now all these angles are customizable. So when you click here, you can always go to tracking settings and you can set whatever increments you may or may not want. I wouldn't set it to one degree. It'll get quite snappy real quick. Um, but don't, you know, if you want to do like, you need a 45 degree angle and an 18 degree angle, you can add that 18 degree angle into there if you wish. So that's polar tracking, that's ortho. Um, other ways to draw lines that we will not demonstrate right now are using a grid and snap method. So we can turn a grid on and we can snap to each one of these if we wanted to and draw. This is a less common way of drawing and will be shown in other videos. All right, so just to recap real quick, several different ways to draw lines. So first one we have is we have lines and I can do zero comma zero here and then I could pick another point if I wish to and you can go to different points or you can do lines by direction so you can turn on your ortho here and then you can just point yourself in the direction you want to go to five enter five enter five enter five enter just like that not even knowing the angles you can draw if you have certain angles you need to use you can turn on polar tracking and then we can draw lines that way so we can draw a line we can go this direction five enter five enter five enter and then C for close if it's one fluid motion all right so again that's utilizing our polar tracking and setting it to 45 degrees or any angle we may or may not need here's every five degrees I'll show you how it looks like when it gets really snappy see what I mean boom 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 just kind of keeps locking in all right so again this is all utilizes dynamic input but we all know we can turn it off so I can draw a line and I can go like this and I can turn ortho mode on, same mode again, just five enter, just no prompts next to my cursor. It's all the exact same thing, nothing different. And that's pretty simple. So easy way to kind of practice in AutoCAD is honestly just draw some five by five boxes and try several different ways of doing it. Try using just ortho mode lines by direction, which is what I did here. All right, oops, lots of lines and FYI, you might be noticing, you know, I'm going to try to draw this now, but how do you erase? Just click on the line, click, 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 and then hit delete. It's that simple. All you got to do is click on the line, hit delete. So try practicing, draw some 5x5 five five squares, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we're just going to take this even a step further. So this is just a basic line drawing.